Have you ever wondered what lies beyond the surface of the internet that we use daily? Beyond the reach of conventional search engines, there exists a hidden network of websites, a realm of the internet known as the dark web. The dark web, contrary to what some may believe, is not a recent phenomenon. Its inception can be traced back to the early 2000s with the advent of Freenet, a peer-to-peer -peer platform for censorship-resistant communication. This was the first stepping stone in the evolution of the dark web. Then came the Onion Router, or TR as we know it today, a free software enabling anonymous communication. TOR took the concept of Freenet and propelled it to another level, making the dark web more accessible and providing a higher degree of anonymity. So what makes the dark web intriguing? The dark web offers a level of privacy and anonymity that is unmatched by the surface web. It is a place where identities are concealed, where individuals can browse without leaving a digital footprint. It is, in essence, the internet's cloak of invisibility. However, like any powerful tool, the dark web can be used for both good and ill. It has become a sanctuary for political dissidents and those seeking to evade oppressive regimes. It provides a platform for whistleblowers, journalists, and individuals who value their privacy in an increasingly transparent world. Yet, the dark web's anonymity also makes it a haven for illegal activities. It's become infamous for illicit trade, from drugs to weapons, and even personal information. Cryptocurrencies, with their promise of untraceable transactions, have only added fuel to this fire. Despite its notoriety, it is not illegal to access the dark web. However, it requires specific browsers and security software. The most common gateway is TOR, which routes your connection through multiple servers worldwide, making it nearly impossible to track. It's essential to understand that the dark web is not synonymous with the deep web. The deep web is a broader term, encompassing all information not indexed by traditional search engines. The dark web is merely a part of this vast ocean, a smaller, more secretive subset. The dark web's existence raises questions about privacy, freedom of expression, and the boundaries of legality in the digital age. It's a testament to the internet's dual nature, a tool for empowerment, and a weapon for exploitation. In conclusion, the dark web, born from the minds of those seeking a freer internet, has evolved into a complex and fascinating realm. It's a reflection of our society embodying both its light and shadows. It serves as a reminder that, just like the real world, the digital world is also a place of contrasts, where the lines between right and wrong are often blurred.